With all of the wildfire in Alberta in recent years, there's been a lot of talk about mountain pine beetles. Tiny insects capable of big destruction, they can dry out and kill entire swaths of forest in theory, priming those trees for combustion. So where do these insects come from and why are they so good at what they do? The mountain pine beetle is a natural disturbance agent in the western forest of North America. As researcher Catherine Cullingham explains, the beetles have evolved with pine forest ecosystems over millions of years. In British Columbia, that is. Here in Alberta, however, they've only appeared in recent years, but more on that in just a moment. Mountain pine beetles depend on pine trees for their survival. They've learned that if they burrow into the bark of pine trees of a certain age, they can stick around to lay eggs and feed on the tree's nutrients. The sweet spot for the beetles, trees young enough to have ample nutrients, but old enough to have aged out, of the ability to repel the beetles with natural defenses like resin, which could suffocate insects. Although the beetles can also release pheromones that attract others, meaning they can overwhelm even a healthy tree with a mass attack. They basically strangle the tree, so that circulatory system gets cut off. Now, as noted, these beetles are endemic to forests in BC and in small populations. They do play an important role in regenerating tree stands by rendering those trees dry and vulnerable to wildfire, and fire can more easily clear them from the landscape, making way for new saplings to grow. But about 25 years ago, a significant beetle outbreak occurred in part thanks to a series of warm winters. And beetle populations exploded, took flight, and caught a ride on the westerlies to places like Jasper. You could actually see it on radar. There's like clouds of beetles that were carried over the Rocky Mountains by wind. That's when the negative impacts of these beetles really began to be felt. Since then, more than 20 million hectares of forest have been destroyed in the west, causing problems for the timber industry, increasing wildfire risk, and damaging the overall health of forest ecosystems. So here in Alberta, efforts have now been underway for more than 15 years to stop that eastward spread by identifying and removing infested trees. And the province says that since 2019, populations have actually declined about 98%. But Weather Nature is the true star of that show. Cold, harsh winters like the ones that began the 2020s have proved difficult for the beetles to survive.